Exactly. We got it coming up for you. Here's our schedule for tonight. Time to go to Philly. Let's join Comcast Sportsnet's coverage of the 2014 Hobie Baker ceremony. Molded of metal, it is awarded annually to young men skating on sharpened steel. Those of character, on and off the ice, and honored individually as the finest hockey player in the United States. Hobie Baker of Princeton was the game's first star, a superior leader, the consummate sportsman. And nearly a century after serving heroically in the skies above France, his name resounds with honor, a true American hero. Welcome to the presentation of the Hobie Baker Memorial Award. The best in college hockey have converged this week in Philadelphia. Home of the Flyers and the Wells Fargo Center is the site of the Frozen Four, an event that has come to the city of brotherly love for the first time ever. And tomorrow, Union and Minnesota will square off for the national championship. But tonight, Collegiate Hockey's highest individual honor will be handed out the Hobie Baker Award. Three finalists have been named and you will meet them in just a moment inside Millennium Hall at the Lowe's Philadelphia Hotel. And with that, hello and welcome to our presentation of the 2014 Hobie Baker Award. I'm your host, John Borg. Joining me for the next half hour is our hockey ringside analyst, Steve Coates, who played collegially at Michigan Tech. And if they had the Hobie Baker back then, I'm sure, Coach, you would have garnered some consideration for I it. I doubt that very <laughs> much, John. But the Hobie Baker didn't come into fruition until 1981. I graduated in 1973, so you can do the math. But the way that the game of hockey... And the NCAA has grown in a number of schools since I played collegiate hockey. It's been immensely very popular. Today, there are 59 Division I college hockey programs. Of course, the Hobie Baker Award, you had to have 10 finalists. This was announced a few weeks ago by the NCAA. To break it down, you have three seniors, six juniors, a sophomore, six forwards, three goalies, and a defenseman all on the list, and they trim that down. But you take a look at some of those uh, names and some of the finalists on there. The one that really stands out, at least locally, is Shane Gostis Bear, who is a Flyers draft pick, a third round selection, and interestingly, he led all players in fan balloting there, Coachy. This kid, this kid can play. And you know what? When you watch him play, he's got the puck all the time, John. As a defenseman, he's an outstanding skater. He can get away from traffic, move in the opposite directions, does a great job with that first pass coming out of the zone, and then because of that skating ability, he lugs the puck all the time. He's scoring all the time. Actually, I'm a little surprised he's not in the finals for this Hobie Baker Award, but this kid has got a great upside as far as becoming a professional hockey player. So those are the 10 finalists, and of course, you know what a hat trick is. That's three goals, and the Hobie Baker hat trick is appropriately the three finalists. And you see, they're all forwards. It's comprised of two seniors and a junior. Greg Carey is on the list, along with Nick Dowd and Johnny Goudreau of Boston College, who is a local winner. Uh, you take a look at some of the uh, previous winners on this list, and there are some big names on here, Coatsy. Neil Broughton, Brendan Morrison, Paul Carrillo for 400 goals, and of course, Ryan Miller, who backstopped Team USA to a silver medal in Vancouver in 2010. Plus, you got Chris Drury, who won the Calder Trophy with the Colorado Avalanche, winning a Stanley Cup. Matt Carl, who we had the opportunity to talk to last night, won it with the Denver Pioneers. And last year's winner, Drew LaPlante, who's now signed with the Chicago Blackhawks. So... The success rate of guys winning this award and heading to the National Hockey League increases year after year, and they all are real good players. Well, what does it mean to win this award? Here's Matt Carl. Uh, it was a pretty unforgettable experience. I mean, uh, our season ended rather abruptly, and then uh, I actually signed with the San Jose Sharks at the time, and my college coaches were there, and my mom was there, and my uh, girlfriend at the time, wife now, was there. So it was uh, uh, kind of a quick trip, a uh, quick in and out for the ceremony, and uh, was right back to, to work the next day. And Coach, see, Matt Carl has certainly established himself as a very dependable defenseman in the NHL. You know, most of the guys that come out of the NCAA hockey have got a great skating ability. That's what it's all about, skating. So all of a sudden, if you have that background, and Matt Carl is like that, we all know, as he played here with the Philadelphia Flyers, that he's a great skater, great puck handler. And that seems to be a, a tradition for NCAA hockey players coming into this level. 
Well, for the first time since it was established in 1981, the Hobie Baker Award will be presented in the hometown of the former Princeton great, whose legacy continues to live on today. Hobie Baker radiated glamour at Princeton University, a two-sport star in that gilded age long before the Great War. A young man of character and substance, his electrifying kick returns propelled the football Tigers past Yale to the 1911 National Championship while earning an Ivy League degree. On the ice, Hobie became America's first true hockey star, long before the arrival of professionals in the sport. And intensely competitive, he also played with honor, Called for slashing against Harvard in 1914, it would be the only penalty of Hobie's career. When the United States entered the war, Baker earned his wings and a commission, posted to the aerodromes of France with the Allied Expeditionary Force. High altitude combat would record for Baker three aerial victories. Bravery so gallant against Germany that the Republic of France awarded now Captain Hobart Baker with its Croix de Guerre medal the cross of war. And it was in December of 1918, on the very day he was to leave Europe for America following the armistice, that a life ended and a legend further grew. Baker's spad fighter crashed in Tour France, taking his life at the age of 26. And in 1945, at the birth of the Hockey Hall of Fame in Toronto, three decades following his death, Hobie Baker was one of only 12 men in its first class and the only American. And in 1975, he became the only man enshrined both there and in the College Football Hall of Fame. You'll find his grave today in Bally Kenwood, Pennsylvania, outside Philadelphia. American flags and hockey pucks left by those that know decorate a gray headstone. And you will find his name placed on the trophy presented each year to the most outstanding player in all of college hockey. Well, certainly Steve Hobie Baker, a player way ahead of his time. You know, Hobie Baker did everything. He was an outstanding athlete. Obviously, a war hero was mentioned there, and he was a great sportsman that was mentioned there. But it's kind of interesting. He was the one that started going to the opponent's dressing room after the game and shaking hands. Well, back in the day when I was playing in the World, I mean, in the Western uh, Collegiate Hockey Association, we used to have some nasty games, especially against the University of Minnesota. So we had to shake hands after the Friday game and then have to come back and play them on the Saturday, only because Hobie Baker started that tradition. Quite frankly, John, I didn't like that. Well, he was quite the sportsman, that is <laughs> that is for sure. All right, Hobie Baker died in 1918 in Toul, France, and by request from his family, his body was transported back to the United States. His final resting place is the West Laurel Hill Cemetery in Ballot Kenwood. Today, a graveside service was held to remember the great Hobie Baker, who graduated from Princeton in 1914, exactly 100 years ago. The Hobie Baker Award. Confused by all the expanding hoses on the market? Don't be fooled by imitations. Hi, I'm Michael Berardi. I'm the inventor of the X-Hose, the original blue expanding hose. In fact, I've been awarded three U.S. patents for my invention. My X-Hose is the only patented expanding hose on the market, and it bears the trusted DAP product's name. Now I'm very proud to introduce my new DAP X-Hose Pro. With solid brass fittings, a wider three-quarter inch diameter, and constructed from even stronger materials. Works like my original X-Hose. Just turn the water on, and my X-Hose Pro automatically expands and expands and expands as you effortlessly guide it to where you need to go. And when you're finished, my X-Hose Pro will automatically follow you back and contract for easy storage. My DAP X-Hose Pro is great for homeowners and professionals. I own a mobile detailing company, and this hose saves me a lot of time and energy on my job. It never kinks, it is super lightweight, and hardly takes up any space in my trailer. What I enjoyed when I watched her using the X-Hose Pro is that the hose actually looks like it's helping her mm -hmm. use it. This 50-foot, three-quarter inch rubber hose weighs over 11 pounds. My 50-foot, three-quarter inch X-Hose Pro weighs only about two pounds. My DAP X-Hose Pro is actually made from a tough, multi-layered expandable inner hose and a folded outer covering made from durable, super strong webbing. Because of its patented design, my X-Hose Pro will never kink. 
Get my new DAP X-Hose Pro for only $29.95, but call right now and get a second X-Hose Pro free. Just pay processing and handling. Durable, solid brass fittings. Super strong materials. Strong enough to pull an SUV. Three-quarter inch diameter for a powerful spray. And incredibly light. So call now. I promise you'll love it. Call 1-800-691-1695. Call now and get a second Exos Pro for free. Just pay separate processing and handling. So call 1-800-691-1695 and order your Exos Pro today. Drawing closer to the presentation of the Hobie Baker Award, it's a live picture of Millennium Hall at Lowe's Philadelphia Hotel where tonight's festivities are taking place. And it seems to be perfect timing, Steve, between the Frozen Four games last night and the national championship tomorrow. This is a very exciting time considering the fact that you had the semifinals last night prior to the finals. Tomorrow you've got this in the middle. So you've got three days of continuous action when it comes to college hockey in the city of Philadelphia. All right, with that, let's meet our first Hobie Baker finalist, a senior from St. Lawrence University and a player back on the Hobie Baker stage. We introduce you to Greg Carey. Our repeat Hobie Baker top 10 finalist, Greg Carey of St. Lawrence University has earned the acknowledgments of the hockey community as a special player. He's done it all for the Saints. Led the team in scoring four straight years. Led the ECAC in scoring for two straight years. And his first team all-conference in back-to-back -back campaigns. Last year, he did it scoring goals and leading the nation. This year, he did it making plays while residing at or near the top of the nation in assists. The native of Hamilton, Ontario, was particularly dangerous on the power play, topping all players in the country with 31 power play points. His work is now complete. The senior majoring in history has been all-academic student for four straight years and just signed a pro contract with the Phoenix Coyotes. To top it off, Greg Carey exited his college career as co-player of the year in the ECAC, and he was a finalist for Student Athlete of the Year. Greg is a special player because he's, he's so dynamic offensively, and he's just a pure goal scorer. Um, he's, a, he's a threat every time he has the puck in the offensive zone. From the top of the circles down, he's as good a player as there is. And uh, The thing about Greg, I saw him score a lot of goals over my three years coaching him. And he, there were no tap-ins. He beat the goal attender every time. And you're looking at Greg Carey, a 3.68 uh, GPA in history. Finished the season with 18 goals and 57 points. And Steve, you want to talk about consistency. He had a 20-game point streak this season. Big-time shot, John. And he's one of these guys that instinct knowing where the puck is and knowing where the net is. He's just one of those guys that gets in close and has an ability to be able to score a lot. All right, let's meet the second Hobie Baker finalist, a senior from St. Cloud State in Minnesota and a player who came just a game shy of reaching the Frozen Four. Let's meet Nick Dowd. Last year's Hobie Baker winner, Drew LeBlanc of St. Cloud State University, set the standard for another Husky to represent the school in this year's finalist, Nick Dowd. The senior captain has led by example as a solid two-way player who helped guide the Huskies to their second straight regular season title, now in the brand new NCHC. So solid was his play, the new conference gave him the keys to the trophy case. First team all-conference, defensive forward of the year, and scholar athlete of the year. A dangerous trigger man, Dow scored 22 goals this year in 38 games, including 10 while on the power play keeping him amongst the nation's best in scoring all season. The biomedicine major just signed a full contract with the Los Angeles Kings and has been an active volunteer on campus. He's just the ultimate leader. Um, I think it touches on, on those, those uh, same traits, you know, that he's just, he's a guy who, who's working extremely hard every day. And, and when you come to the rink and you see your captain working that hard, um, you know, as the rest of the team, you can't, you can't not follow that. And a look at Nick Dowd, a biomedicine major at St. Cloud State. And if he wins, this school would produce the last two Hobie Baker winners. This kid, when you combine leading score as well as best defensive player, that tells you that you got the complete package. And on top of being a great scholastic uh, uh, athlete, this guy has got all the credentials. And it's really exciting time because for a guy like Dowd, because he's not the best scorer in the nation, but he's all rounded, and, is a, and very well rounded, rather. So yeah. as a result, 
He's a great candidate. That brings the total package, that's for sure. Now for the third member of the Hobie Baker hat trick, a player who grew up just across the bridge in South Jersey and a finalist for this award last year. Let's meet Johnny Goudreau. Back for a second straight year as a Hobie hat trick finalist, Johnny Goudreau led up college hockey this past season, recording the highest point total in the last 11 years. Some call him Johnny Hockey. Others just say, uh-oh, here he comes. Boston College's Goudreau entered the NCAA Frozen Four Tournament with 35 goals and 42 assists for 77 points in 38 games. Almost two points a game. Growing up just down the road in Kearney's Point, New Jersey, Goudreau has won back-to-back -back Hockey East scoring titles in two straight Hockey East honors as Player of the Year. Goudreau leads the nation in goals, assists, points, and plus-minus with a plus 41. A communications major and Calgary draft pick, he recorded points in all but two games this season. He's a really good guy. He's a team guy. Um, the... Uh the records he breaks, the goals he scores, they don't really matter to him as long as the as long as the team's winning. He's a quiet leader. You know, we talk about Birch around here with the Bruins being a quiet leader as opposed to a, a vocal leader like Chara. And he certainly leads by example, but very well respected. And you're looking at Johnny Goudreau, who grew up in Carney's Point, New Jersey. A lot of friends and family, you know, at the Los Philadelphia Hotel. You talk about the credentials, he had a 31-game point streak, which tied Paul Correa's conference mark. He did it all on the ice this year. You know, it's talking about puck control again. Every time you saw those highlights, something's happening. He's Mr. Excitement. He's a magician with the puck, accelerates, skates as fast without the puck as he does with the puck. That's really, you got it really going there. So he's not the biggest guy in the world. Plays a little bit like Marty St. Louis, but maybe not as strong right now. But he'll definitely be a good pro because the way the game's played right now at the National Hockey League level, with his speed and his puck talents, stick handling talents, He's the real and deal. And the only knock is his size. You That's know, exactly can, right. Can he hold up? Will he have the stature? Can he play that physical style of game? I think he'll be just fine. Think he'll be fine? Yes. All right. Uh, once again, we'll take you out. The time is almost here to present the uh, coveted Hobie Baker Award. And we'll take you out to the Lowe's Philadelphia Hotel in just a moment. And fill you in on this year's winner right after this. Hi, Phil Swift here. This is Fletch Shot. The easy way to caulk, bond, and seal. Simply push the trigger to make quick repairs with pinpoint accuracy. Flex Shot is so thick, you can fill huge cracks and holes, making everything completely waterproof. And it's mildew resistant, perfect for kitchens and baths. Seal drafty windows and repair decorative items. Watch how water gushes out of this huge hole. But after it's sealed with Flex Shot, there's absolutely no leaks. That's amazing! You can get FlexShot for just $19.99. Plus, we'll include this extension tube. But wait, we're going to double your order and send you a free handy can of Flex Seal. The easy way to stop leaks fast. You get it all for just $19.99. Order now. Call 1-800-959-1252 or go to FlexShot.com. 1-800-959-1252. Call or go online now. The sun used to make our outdoor deck and patio space so hot and uncomfortable, we couldn't use it. But then we discovered the Sunsetter Retractable Awning. Our Sunsetter Retractable Awning opens and closes in just 60 seconds. It keeps our patio about 20 degrees cooler. It provides instant shade and instant protection from the sun's harmful rays. And our Sunsetter costs under $700. But now you can get your Sunsetter for as little as $499 when you call now to get the special $200 discount certificate and free awning idea kit. We love our Sunsetter Retractable Awning, and you're going to love yours too. Sunsetter awnings are assembled in America and guaranteed to last for years. So call now to get this free awning idea kit with DVD, plus your $200 Sunsetter discount certificate. But this is a limited time offer. Call now. Call now for your free awning idea kit with DVD and $200 discount certificate. There's no obligation. Call 1-800-343-2216.
is the Hobie Baker Award, 40 pounds of bronze that will be awarded to the most outstanding player in collegiate hockey. And we're almost there. It's almost time for the big announcement. Now, the Hobie Baker Award is given to the player who excels in four criteria. One is strength of character on and off the ice. So there's a lot that's really considered, and it goes beyond statistics, Steve. It's about looking for a person that is a strong character away from the game, obviously a leader with his hockey club, obviously good scholastically, every one of these guys. We talk about Nick Dowd, who's a pre-med student. I mean, come on. I mean, not a lot of hockey players are pre-med students, John, but when you take a look, these guys are the real deal as far as representing their universities. And that's how they are voted upon by the 27 people that are spread around the country geographically to be able to come up with the final 10, then the final three. And I think they've got a real good crop here in these three, three players. Well, Greg Carey came from St. Lawrence University missed out on the NCAA tournament, the field of 16. Uh, Nick Dowd, St. Cloud State, got all the way before he was uh, defeated by the University of Minnesota in the round of eight before the Frozen Four. And then, of course, Johnny Goudreau, who just last night, uh, the Boston College Eagles lost to Union 5-4, essentially ending his season. And now, you know, big decisions ahead for Johnny Goudreau. Does he stay in school and go back for his uh, senior season, or does he come out and go pro? That's a, you know, only Johnny Goudreau can answer that question. I mean, obviously, if he wins the Hobie Baker tonight, then he would say, hey, listen, I, what do I got to play for? I've already done everything. I've led the, the nation in scoring. I've won a Hobie Baker award. Why don't I just move on and try my next, my next career, being pro hockey with the Calgary Flames? But, you know, sometimes it's best to stay behind. Get your degree, then move forward. I would probably recommend that to him. Yeah, he picked up a goal and two assists in the loss to Union yesterday. So essentially, uh, Johnny Goudreau finished the season with 80 points. You were talking about 80 at, at the collegiate level. There may be only a handful of players that have ever reached that total. You got 80 points in the NCAA. In NCAA, you got a heck of a year. I mean, you've done some marvelous things, but you go back to those highlights we saw. He has the puck all the time. Mm -hmm. Nobody can catch him. And very important, the fact that he has the ability to be able to skirt through traffic despite his size. That's why he's so much fun to watch. Yeah, it, it, what is the progression? You, you, we watched some great hockey at the Wells Fargo Center this week and some of these collegiate players. Can any of them make uh, the transition right away into the NHL? Or is the game obviously uh, considerably different? different. Yeah, the game's definitely different. You're going to play against bigger players, but uh, I think it's, it's easier because they're good skaters. All right. Well, the moment is almost here. With that, let's take you out to the Lowe's Philadelphia Hotel in Center City and join up with Dan Haney, chairman of the Hobie Baker Award. On behalf of the Hobie Baker Memorial Award Committee, welcome. As fans, coaches, parents, family, and players, we know that hockey is the best game. As hockey requires unmatched physical skills, it demands emotional strength. It is violent, it's fast, it's thrilling. It tests players as individuals, but requires teamwork. It binds young people into a single purpose the way no other game can. All the variables of the game are important, and any variable can make a difference in outcome. But character of the players is what makes the difference. Yet hockey is not everything. Hockey is our tool, not our project. It is our highway, not our journey. Hockey is our teacher. It shows us the way, but it is not the way itself. These young men exhibit the highest level of skill in college hockey, and they are gifted in their play. But what distinguishes them is their conduct on and off the ice, their integrity, their character. This is the essence of the Hobie Baker Memorial Award and why we are so pleased and so honored to be with you this evening, to be reminded and to learn from these exceptional young men. Johnny Goudreau from Boston College, Greg Carey, from St. Lawrence University, and Nick Dowd from St. Cloud State University. <clears throat> and now I ask Chris May, 
partner from Price Waterhouse Cooper to bring me the envelope with the name of this year's Hobie Baker recipient. Thank you, guys. All right, let's do this. The 2014 Hobie Baker Memorial Award winner is Johnny Goudreau. Who's this? And I'll use this one. All right. Oh, you know, give us a speech for the Yeah, I think I got it. Thank you. Good evening. Uh, first off, I'd like to first congratulate uh, both Greg and Nick on being selected as Hobie finalists. Uh, both are very talented players, and uh, either of you guys could be standing up here today, so congratulations on great seasons. I'm honored to receive this award, and I uh, would like to thank the Hobie Committee uh, to be considered uh, for the Hobie Baker Award. It's a great honor and privilege. I certainly did not get here on my own. I stand on many soldiers in this room. Some are in this room and others are not. I want to express my gratitude to those who have helped me over the years get to this point at my career. I could not have done it without you. First, I want to thank my mom and dad. Thank you for all the sacrifices you make every day to support my sister, sisters, my brother, and me. Not only in our sports, but in every way imaginable. I also want to thank my siblings, Kristen, Matthew, and Katie and my extended family for their support and encouragement. I also would like to thank all my coaches I've had over the years here, especially those who believe that someone my size could actually play and contribute at such a high level. I thank my teammates over there uh, at Boston College for what they mean to me on and off the ice. They're not only teammates, they're so much more than that to me. They're an unbelievable group of guys who care about each other. I'm so grateful that they are here with me today because without them, none of this would have been possible. I thank Boston College for believing in me, for challenging me to become more than just a hockey player during my three years I've had here. I thank my coaches I've had during my career here. Coach Greg Brown, Coach Mike Ayers, Coach Marty McGinnis, Coach Mike Cavanaugh, and Coach Jim Logue, as well as all the support staff. Throughout my college career, these individuals never stopped teaching and pushing me and my teammates to become our best on and off the ice. And of course, I thank Coach York for what he's done to build a culture of excellence at Boston College that demands all his players live up to the BC's motto, ever to excel on and off the ice. I'm proud to be an Eagle, and I'm honored to accept this award in the name of all those who helped me get here. Thank you. So Boston College junior forward Johnny Goudreau is the 2014 Hobie Baker Memorial Award winner. Last year he was a finalist in Pittsburgh. He wins the award in his hometown this year. We'll wrap up our show right after this. Is straining at night, struggling with glare from oncoming lights. You need visual clarity. Get it instantly with Night View NV, the glare reduction glasses that turn fuzzy and dull into clear and bright, even at night. It's brighter, there's no glare. I can actually see at night. Everything is defined, like high definition. The secret is specially coated yellow lenses that block the blue light that causes nighttime glare. As the days get shorter, you'll be able to see longer. Wherever there's glare, you'll see clearer with Night View NV. 
Similar glasses can cost as much as $400. But during this special TV offer, you'll receive one pair of Nightview NV glasses for just $10. But to make this offer perfectly clear, we'll double it free. Just pay separate processing and handling. You get two pairs of Nightview NV for just $10. Call or log on now. To order, call 1-800-656-2353. That's 1-800-656-2353. Or visit us online at getnightview.com. Call or click today. Everybody loves to watch birds, but what happens when they disappear? Imagine if you could spy on the birds inside. Now you can with the My Spy Birdhouse, the see-through birdhouse that lets you spy inside without disturbing the birds. It's the perfect size for typical backyard bird species, including wrens, nuthatches, and chickadees. The My Spy Birdhouse offers a safe and comfortable home for birds to raise their young. Must be 18 or older to order. Drew Joe becomes the third Boston College Eagle to win the award, joining David Emma in 1991 and Mike Motto in 2000. And it really completes a storybook ending for Johnny Goudreau to win it here in Philadelphia, about 20 miles from where he grew up. Can you there, imagine? Yeah? Can you imagine? I mean, you would wake up every day dreaming about the ability to just be able to go to university and play college hockey. Coming from Carney's Point, New Jersey, playing a lot of his hockey at Hollydale over in New Jersey. I mean, it's just a great story. And obviously, the ending being right here yeah. on a Friday night in the city of Philadelphia. By the way, it was not the only award presented today. The NCAA established the Mike Richter Award, recognizing the most outstanding goaltender in college hockey. Richter was on hand, as well as Flyers Hall of Famer Bernie Perrant. The inaugural award was presented to UMass Lowell sophomore Connor Hellebuck, who led the nation in goals against average and save percentage. A week ago, he signed an entry-level contract with the Winnipeg Jets, so Hellebuck is going pro. And that's going to do it for us. Johnny Goudreau is a 2014 Hobie Baker Award winner. And of course, tomorrow, the national championship game at the Wells Fargo Center between Union and Minnesota. I want to thank you for joining us right here on the Comcast Network. It happens in the parking lot. When you're parked on the oh, street, man. it'll even happen in your own.
sermon in here today. Uh, I know it's past, past hours, past time, but it's, I'm, I'm glad to set up here.